Joined now by Ivan Elin. He's the director of the Center on Peace and Liberty at the Independent Institute. Ivan, uh, the U.S. president says that he wants to take action against Russia, and Russia says prove it. So let's look at each one here. Can they happen? Well, I think they can. Uh, they can happen covertly or overtly. And, of course, they could put sanctions on. They could hack the, the uh, Russians. Of course, the U.S. and Israel hacked into the Iranian nuclear program and made centrifuges spin out of control. So I think the U.S. has fairly sophisticated offensive capabilities to do that if they want. But he really only has a couple of weeks left in office. What is the point of doing anything at this point? Well, I think it does uh, may deter other countries from doing it in the future. I think that's the idea. And to sort of give a salvo saying, listen, we're, we're not going to take this uh, intrusion into our domestic system. And Russia says basically, you know, you guys got to prove this. You just can't keep saying all this stuff. Does the United States have enough evidence it feels would put uh, Vladimir Putin here at the center of this? Well, I mean, in the court of public, world public opinion, you have to prove it. If you're going to retaliate, you don't have to prove anything. You just do it, right? And, you know, uh, things are said, we do it to them, they do it to us. You know, this is the, just like spying. Uh, um, hacking is almost uh, done universally uh, by countries. And, uh, and everybody's doing it nowadays. It's kind of the new, you know, spying, if you will. And in fact, it's used for spying sometimes. So I think it's possible. This isn't a court of law. We don't have to have complete evidence. And I don't think you'll see that. I think there probably will be some retaliation. And we may not, uh, may not be publicized uh, completely. Well, and, you know, there even seems to be some disagreement within the U.S. intelligence community about Russia's role in hacking. Is, is this a partisan disagreement when it comes to this, uh, you know, yes, we think, no, we don't? Or, or is it because they don't have enough evidence? Well, I think uh, there seems to be unanimous uh, agreement that the Russians hacked. The question is, what was their motivation? Were they just trying to disrupt the election or were they trying to uh, help Hillary, and, or excuse me, help Trump and hurt Hillary? And so that's the, the motivation is a little bit iffy, but I understand that the FBI might be changing their position on that. So um, we'll see. A lot has been said about U.S. President-elect Donald Trump and what he has put out there on social media. How do you expect uh, U.S.-Russia relations to change once he uh, arrives in office? Well, I think you might have the ideal setup. Uh, Obama uh, retaliates and then Trump comes in and, you know, makes things better, right? And so, and I think Trump probably would improve relations with Russia. And I think that's uh, not a bad idea, really. I mean, these things do happen. I think Russia has to be put on notice that they shouldn't be meddling in other people's internal affairs. But I feel that about U.S. and other countries as well. I don't think the U.S. should be doing this as well. The U.S. has, has uh, um, meddled in a few elections around the world itself. So uh, it's a little bit hypocritical to be so breathless about this one. But of course, this one was our election here. And I think it com countries do need to be put on notice that uh, to deter them from doing it in the future. But that doesn't mean uh, you can't have good relationships with countries that you don't agree with or have different political systems. And I think in the US, sometimes we get too carried away. Uh, human rights are great, and we need to stick up for human rights. But we also need to deal with the world as it is. And some countries have different systems. And Russia has a different system than we do. And uh, you know, Donald Trump improving relations with Russia, I think, would be good. We have areas that we can work uh, together, such as radical Islam, which uh, some of Trump's advisors have said, you know, we, we have a common interest with Russia, and that's true. And based on some of the picks that he has for the certain cabinet positions, um, would you say that they are friendlier, have a friendlier viewpoint of Russia? Well, certainly the Secretary of State and the National Security Advisor do. The Secretary of Defense may have a different view. Uh, they're all, they all seem to be united in hating Iran, but I think there's a bit of a difference on uh, Russia. All right, Ivan Elin, thank you so much. We always appreciate your perspective. Thank you.